Hello and welcome to Bell Curve Gaming, and today we're going to have a look at a tag team before tag teams in Minin and Plusle, who will make you pay if you cannot get a second Pokemon out on your first turn. Double Tails, not really worried about that. Find me an energy card. Got it. There it is. That had me worried for a little while. There we go. 150 damage. Turn 1 victory. It is game, isn't it? 60 is weak. That's actually game. This deck is ridiculous. The number of one turn wins. I'm getting. Like turn, well turn to one, turn two. The first turn I can attack wins is nuts. So, how does this deck work? Well, the main idea here is to put your opponent under turn one pressure and try to maintain that pressure right through the match. So, we're mainly attacking with Plusle. With a one energy attack, tag team boost. 10 base damage but does an extra 50 damage if Minin is sitting on the bench. And Minin, he's really easy to get out just to sit there and power up our Plusle. Now, that 60 damage that could get a turn one KO, but if we need to get higher, we have Electro Powers to help us out. 30 extra for every one of these that we play, and if it's a GX Pokemon, we can also get the Choice Band out and the Shrine out to try and put turn one pressure onto our position, and then the idea is to try and maintain that pressure right through the match. So we've got Marshadow to try and thin, uh, make our opponent have a smaller hand. We've got Electro Charges here to try and recharge these Electro Powers right through the match so we can reuse them. And then we've got our finisher in Tapu Koko at the end. Now, what's funny about this deck is when people start losing to it, they just do this. All right. We'll retreat out. We'll go and get the plus one. And we shall now use our tag team boost. Get rid of that Alolan Volpix. And we've got a Minim. And see where we're at from here. So timer ball. Please be double tails. Please be double tails. Please be double tails. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Ouch, from my opponent, ouch. So we'll thin you guys. We'll go and bring um, Tapu Koko Prism Star. Do people just not like Plusle? It just seems to me that people just don't want to legitimately lose to Minin and Plusle. <laughs> so, shall we begin? I think we shall. Hello, Hikarintu. Welcome. Alright, so we have Plusle and Minim. Let's see how this deck rolls. First time playing it. The tag team before tag teams. So I want the Minim out, which is what I need. Ooh, could have a Squirtle out front. Just saying that 60 HP is what I'm looking for. Yeah, we'll draw a card. Mm, yeah, why not? We'll put another plus one down. Why not? Squirtle up front. Oh, it's 70 HP. Boo. It means I need to find myself an NG and something else. Like an Electro Power. So. But it could be a bit of fun if I do find it. So it'll be a Blastoise build of some description. The Thunder Mountain could make sure I can attack here, so I don't see myself really needing Thunder Mountain later, so we'll just chuck the Thunder Mountain down, because this is a pretty cheap attacking deck. And we'll chuck a Tapu Coco down as well, is that what I want? Or the Orangaroo, we'll put an Orangaroo down first. And we'll Cynthia here. So we do get the Electro Power, which is kind of nice. We'll chuck the NG onto the backline Plusle. Start building that up. We'll Electro Power here. And for the moment, we'll just Tag Team Boost. Get rid of that Squirtle, which is kind of nice. 
Choice Band. Don't know if that's going to be good in this particular game. So I just need to be aware that there is a chance that I might not be able to attack next turn if he asks the Thunder Mountain. Still within range. So please don't get a stadium. Because otherwise I'm going to desperately need to thin to look for another lightning energy. Good, missed the stadium. So it's really good for me. I think what we do here... I don't think the choice band's going to be useful in this matchup. We'll get rid of the Oranguru as well. Is there anything I particularly want? I've really kind of got all I need, don't I? So we won't pull anything at the moment. We will chuck the Tapu Coco down. We will Electro Power, because that gets me the KO. And we'll instruct here. Hopefully find my way into a draw support. Don't get the draw support. But I do, in fact I do have draw support, I've got Erika's. We'll chuck an NG onto the Tapu Coco as well. Do I want Erika's here? We will Erika's, why not? I only get the two. But it could set me up for the future. So right now, we don't need to Electro Power any further. We'll just take this Marsh Tomp down. Get myself another prize card. And let my opponent finally get the KO here. So Synthing, he does need to go and find himself some new bench Pokemon to put down. And I'm going to need to find my way into one of my first Electro Charges soon. So Articuno is coming, so this is an Articuno build. Looking to see whether he can get energy cards out. So he's got a few. He's going to charge up the Blastoise here. Now I'm going to hit him for 90. He's going to chuck 30 onto himself. So need more... Need more Electro Powers. Even 120 doesn't get me there, unfortunately. But it gets me close. Oh, Electro Charger could be good. So we do have two in our discard already, so Electro Charger. Got one, got two heads, nice. We'll bring those two back. Got a chance of getting into them too, so Electro Power here. And we are going to chuck everything... Hmm. We'll chuck the Tapu Coco down. We'll chuck the NG card onto the plus all for the moment. We will instruct. We've got a Cynthia, which is what I want. Hopefully find my way into two more Electro Powers, is what I'm looking for. Don't find that, unfortunately. But, what I can do... Is get rid of these two. Go and pull me in. We will do this. We'll go and pull in Tapu Coco now. Yeah, we'll go and pull in Tapu Coco right now. So we're going to dance the ancients. We'll grab you and you. NG card to you. NG card to you. Does put a GX Pokemon out there. But I'm pretty happy to start hitting him with the Tapu Coco. So we're going to grab the NG from you. The NG from you. I only need two NGs for the moment, so that's fine by me. And we will Sky Hike Laws. Get rid of that Blastoise. Got myself another prize card. And we just start hitting him with the Tapu Coco. See how much value I can get out of this. So as long as he gets two prize cards, he breaks even. And that'll be really good for me. Also puts pressure on my opponent, continuing to get Pokemon out there. Good first run, I reckon. Good first run. Hello, Poliwog. And welcome. It's probably Poliwog, but I like to call him Poliwog.
Yeah, I can get a cheeky turn one KO. Hang on, did I select going first? Did I select going I need to actually concentrate during the coin flip <laughs> so I know what's going on. Because I swear I get to this point every single game and I'm like, did I do this? Does that really be? <laughs> Alright, this is probably not a matchup for me. Um, go and get me a minimum down. And then we shall yo Mar Shadow let loose. So we don't have too much more happening for me, so we'll just end it there. Pass it over. So I'm assuming this is a Celosaur deck. Yeah. Which I don't think Plus will can play nice with. I really don't. It's gonna Guzma. I mean, I can Guzma back. That shouldn't be an issue. Now, hopefully, you are brick. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna Guzma back. We'll get the shrine there. We'll chuck you onto you. We shall Guzma you up. Back. And. We shall use one electro power to make sure that I get rid of this thing and KO you. Go and get myself a prize card. It's an electro charger. That could be useful. And now I'm hoping that you're bricked. That's really what I'm hoping for now. And that I unbrick myself. Ah, that shaman's going to be annoying. But you are bricked. Oh, and I do unbrick myself. So, we'll electro power here. We electro charger. Oh, double tails. That is painful. So, we'll go another plus all down. We will electro charger again. See if I can get quad tails. Yes, quad tails. That's what we want. There's my luck. That's what I'm used to. Don't give me, you know, good luck because I'm not used to that and I don't know how I'd handle it. Just quad tails. I'm fine with that. I can live with that. Keep those quad tails coming. <laughs> Hopefully you are still bricked because I can still keep searching. What I'm desperate for is just find. Yep, so you're completely bricked. Hopefully, you stay bricked for a little while. And I'm not a nice person. It was like, hopefully, you stay that way. Um, we'll go plus all down. We shall just straight Cynthia. Do we have anything in the discard yet? Oh, yeah, we do. So, we'll Ultra Ball, get rid of you and you, just so it's here ready. We will dance the Ancients, we'll bring up you and you. Have yourself an NG. Have yourself an NG. We're not bringing Tapu Koko in yet. Because you're a long way off getting that KO. So we'll just do Tag Team Boost. Chip in another 60. And Shaman's going to heal another 20. Please don't be a draw support. Please don't be a draw support or a Shaman. Just something that's useless. That's what I'm hoping for. Ah, it's another shaman. That doesn't spell useless to me. Need to be able to hit 270, which I'm a long way off of at the moment. 
I mean, hanging for 130 is better, so maybe I should bring in Tapicoco while I can. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to Electro Power here. We're going to bring in Tapicoco. We're going to bring the NG off of you, off of you, and off of you. Swing into the active. We're going to Lily now. And... For the moment, we just Sky High Claws. So it's 160. Oh, it's there, actually. It's there. What was I thinking? So there's three prize cards. So the bricking has worked. I'm actually quite impressed that this managed to take down a Celosaur, this deck. I would have thought this is like one deck that you might as well just give up with. Crushing Hammer. Got it. So if that's the case, we might actually go with a Guzma play now and just take out a Shaman. Do I have another Guzma? No, I've only got two Guzmas, so then he can wall up. But at least it takes away healing. And I think that's super important now. So we Guzma up. I need an electro power to do that. I reckon we chuck Thunder Mountain down, honestly. Just to protect the Tapu Coco for a little bit. Allows me to attack with Tapu Coco still. I like having the Guzma, but I need to try and get these electro powers back badly. So. We need to start thinning. Probably need to keep the draw supporters, although... Do I just thin hard and hope? Thin hard and hope. Thin hard and hope. And we'll now Cynthia. We do have a choice band to join the action. We'll chuck another NG onto the plusle. And unfortunately we don't have the draw supporters. So we're sky high claws. Put pressure on him with 160. Fortunately he's going to be able to heal a lot of that. It's going to ace a roller it. It's even better. In fact, that could be good for me because I can get a KO here. And I've got the Guzma. So that actually plays into my hands quite nicely now. So we just get the KO. He's going to try and wall up. And I have the Guzma to get that last prize card. So Ace Roller helps me so much. Talk about being completely bricked up. Finally he finds a draw supporter. And sadly for him... This Plusle and Minus deck is actually... Oh! Ooh! Oh! Wow, if that was... Yeah, that, that nearly had me. So, yeah. We... Guzma. We switch. And that's game. Yeah. <laughs> Plusle and Minus taking down the deck that I would not have thought I'd have been able to take down. I mean, he had to brick up to do it, but the Marsh Shadow did help with that. So, yeah, GG, GG. Hello, Danny, 91-94. Ooh, both minims. That is unfortunate. Well, I'll put them both down. No NGs. The Electro Power Charger, which is what I don't want to see this early. And luckily for you, you're probably protected from any kind of KO here. On turn one. Which is unfortunate. Wouldn't mind a turn one Jirachi KO. That'd be kind of nice. 
but I'm going to have to take a little bit of time getting myself set up. Pip lup again. Oh, pip lup. Why do I call it prep lup? I don't know. Pip lup, chicken reader. I've seen this deck earlier tonight. Don't remember Jirachi being in it though. But unfortunately, it's going to give him awesome opportunity to set up the Meganium, get these. Just get himself rolling, so... Do you want to probably keep the Guzma? Just to go after that Meganium at some stage. I mean, ideally I'd love to go after it, the Chikorita, right now, but... Didn't get the setup that I was hoping for. And I'm probably going to have to Cynthia here because a lot of these cards are dead weight. So, Nyeric is not going to get me a good pull. So, we'll just chuck the Shrine down, even though that's probably not going to get me much value this game. And we can chuck a Choice Band on someone or I can ditch it. We're really bricked at the moment. We'll ditch it. I think we'll ditch the Erika's as well. And we'll go and get ourselves a... Blussel. And then I've got to answer the question right now. Do I want to ditch and draw? I think I do. And we're not going to ditch any of these two cards, just because I want the switching and the goosmering for later in the game. Just get me three more cards. Three more NGs. So I'm assuming the Meganium's going to be up here. Yeah. Which is going to make things really awkward from here on out, which is the reason why I kind of want to keep the Guzma in hand to give me opportunities to try and get after that Meganium at some point. Which point I go after it, I'm not entirely sure just yet. Because if I go after it straight away, there's a high chance of there being a switch or a Guzma in hand with that big hand that he's got. Although getting a Mars Shadow would be absolutely clutch right now. So that might be the option. Double tails in the time of all, that's unfortunate. I mean, let's use a Goose Marauder. I know I should probably be going for setup at the moment. But we'll just tag team boost. So it chips a little bit of damage into the Meganium. Because that's what's really going to hurt here. Of all things, is that Meganium. And I'm assuming he's probably got Guzma or something like that to get himself out of this. Which is unfortunate. It's going to candy up to the Priplup. Uh, Piplup. Candy the people up to an Empoleon. I do hit weakness for that, which is kind of nice. And I could have got a prize card quite easily with Plusle. Maybe that's what I should have looked at. I don't know, I just wanted to get rid of this Meganium. The Meganium is going to add too much consistency to the deck, I feel. So he's going to poke a comms here. Bring out a second Mudkip. Well, bring out a mud kit. So I want to get rid of this Meganium. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to chuck the NG onto this Minim. We're going to shuffle. And I've probably got a lot that I need at the moment. 
So one electro power isn't going to get me there. Because 90 plus a 60. In fact, it is going to get me there. What am I talking about? Have yourself a choice, man. Why not? We'll electro power here. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll electro charger at the same time. Double heads. This is the time you're going to give me double heads. All right. Well, let's chuck you back anyway. That's good. Double heads is always better than double tails. Never complain, Sean. And we'll just take out this Meganium. And get myself my first prize card, which is a Mars Shadow. So I didn't have the Mars Shadow in deck. But I do have draw supporters to get myself out of this. And he's going to probably be able to attack with the Empoleon because I know he has the Aqua Patch. Although he doesn't have any NGs in the discard right now. So NG pricked at the moment. And I've taken some consistency out, which is kind of nice. And it's really good to use the rare candy to get the Empoleon up. Because it just means that there's one less rare candy in deck. So that's kind of nice as well. By the looks of things, he's got the Swampert, which allows him to power through his deck quite nicely. Yep, so he's got the candy to the Swampert. So the next Guzman is probably after that Swampert more than anything else, although that's going to be hard to get rid of. So he does run counter energies here. So he's going to have the KO on this Bustle. And he's going to get up the another Meganium as well, so that's unfortunate. So what I'm looking at here is Minim down. We have a couple of options. I mean, we could bring in Tapu Koko, which gives him a two prize card Pokemon to go after. Nah, Tapu Koko is not an option, unfortunately. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to start filling up my bench. So we'll bring in... Do I have Tapu Koko in deck just so I know? Yep, so I've got the Tapu Koko GX in deck. So we'll bring in the Plusle because that's the one that I desperately need. And right here, can't play the Electro Charger because there's just nothing in there. So What's unfortunate with this is he actually has the KO here as well. Assuming he's got another NG. Which is super unfortunate. So tag team. Boost will hit for weakness. So assuming he's got another NG card, he is going to get the KO here as well. And with that Swamp it down, that's going to be super consistent now for him. And I'd be very shocked if he didn't have another NG card to get the KO here. It's going to Guzma. And that Orangaroo down's just painful as well. So I nearly might have been better off just doing the ditch and draw with a Minim. Especially now with this Meganium up, I probably should have ditch and drawed with a Minim. That's what I'm feeling now. He's got an absolute dead hand. Well, he's going to put Priplup up. So he doesn't actually have the attack here. Which is kind of nice. Going to get the second Jirachi down. Assuming he has a Guzma or a Switch or something in hand ready to roll. So I don't have the attack here either. And I kind of don't want to lose the NG, so we'll just Lily for now. We still don't have a way to switch out. So we are going to go down in prize cards here. Although, I actually have the KO with the Tapu Coco, but I've got to be very careful because 
that's just going to hit straight back. And five. That's easy KOing my Tapu Koko. So I really don't want to bring out the Tapu Koko right now. The GX variety. Thin the hand? I think we thin the hand. That's the option. So we'll go Shrine. Get rid of the... I'm not going to switch this turn, am I? So we'll get rid of the Electro Power for now. We'll go and get ourselves out... Possibly a Marsh Shadow. That might be really good to go to. That's what we're going to play. Going to go with the Marsh Shadow. We will Electro Charger. Got me a heads to put that back into the deck. We shall go and get me the Plusle out. So, from the discard into my hand, we'll go and get that Plusle. We will tap it, Coco down. We'll dance at the Ancients with you and you for now. And have one each. And we shall now Marsh Shadow. Although, we're going to instruct first, see what I get myself into. Couple of Electro Powers, which would be kind of nice for next turn. If he's able to get the KO. But we are going to Marsh Shadow because I don't have a way out of this Orangaroo right now. Do have it for next turn at least. So, that's what we're going to play with. I know he has the consistency of that Swampert in the back line. What I need to decide is what's more important if I need to get a KO. Although I don't have a Guzma, so I'm not thinking that. I'm thinking of just Tate Liza switching. Which unfortunately is going to remove one of my attackers on the next turn. After that, keeps me ahead of the prize card race at the moment though. So he's just going to pass it over. So, we'll Tate and Liza switch. So we're just going to switch to one of our pluses. Don't really want to just play another NG down for the sake of playing an NG down. So we'll tag team boost, because there's no benefit to playing that NG right now. We'll get rid of that Piplup. And I may need to thin the hand, I'm not sure. See how we go. Does allow him to use the counter NG on this turn. And he'd be one Meganium and a Rare Candy away from having this up and rolling quite nicely again. And his hand, like his deck's really thinned out nicely. So I'd be shocked if he can't get this thing up and rolling. The second Meganium. Which means I just need to focus on taking out Empoleons and getting attackers back as much as I can. As consistently as I can. So the Tapi Coco is really helpful for me. I don't have any pluses in here. I don't know how many is in deck right now. You're telling me he might not have the KO here. He must have another escape board. Although he's used his retreat, so he must have a switch card. Because he, I would have thought he needs to take a KO here. And if he doesn't take the KO here, if I can get two prize cards up, that really makes me feel a bit more confident the Tapi Coco in a couple of turns time. So he does get his Meganium going. Which helps him quite nicely from here. Does he have the switch? No. So he's giving me the KO. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to chuck an NG onto the Orangaroo. We're going to Electro Power. We need to continue thinning the deck as well. So have yourself a choice ban. And we'll now Cynthia. Got myself a couple of Electro char uh, Powers for the future. We're going to Electro Charger now, just because I want them back in deck if I can. Double Heads again. I'm only going to get the one back, but that's fine. I'm okay with that at this stage, because I only need one at a time at the moment. 
So we don't need the thin whatsoever right now. We just tag team boost, get rid of this Jirachi. And if he attacks him with this Empoleon, I don't even need the Electro Power on the next turn. So all I need is three more attackers, really. And I've got one with this Plusle, one with a Plusle that's coming. I mean, the only thing that I can see myself that's going to really hurt if he has a Guzma to lock me in to try and catch up. So this Plusle now goes down. And we go and get ourselves another Plusle ready to roll. And then the last one's the Tappy Coco. So, oh, I don't have a Plusle. Oh, two Plusles prize. That is painful. So we go and get Tappy Coco because Tappy Coco is going to be super important here. And I've got to hope that out of the two Plusles that are prized, that I find my way into one on the next turn. Otherwise, we're Tapo Cocoing earlier than what I'd ideally like to. So, we're just going to Tag Team Boost. Oh, I didn't need to use that uh, right there, actually. That was a mistake. We do go and find myself the Plusle, so that's really good. I need to concentrate on what I'm doing. Did not need to use the Electro Power there. It seems like a popular deck tonight. It's quite a few people running it. So it seems like rather a popular deck. But I guess if he does take a KO on one of my non-attacking Pokemon, that's not a big deal either. So, and I've got the one Electro Power that I need. A Judge would really hurt me or a Mar Shadow. And I've got my other attack and I've got the Ultra Ball, so I'm sort of set at the moment. Oh, actually, the Swampert coming out to attack. I didn't consider that. It's going to go after the Minim to get rid of energies. Alright, so I now need to go after Electro Powers, and I really wish I didn't play that. I need a lot of Electro Powers here. Or... Or I go in with a Tappy Coco now. Because right now, this. Well, this is attached to a stage 2 Pokemon. It provides energy, energy but only one at a time. But if you've got three or more in play, it provides four at a time. So Tappy Coco has the easy KO here. And I'm liking that. I'm liking that. So. No. What am I doing? <laughs> Ultra Ball. I get rid of the Ultra Ball, and I get rid of the Cynthia, or the NG, or the Plusle, the Plusle. And what we do is we go and get the Tappy Coco right here, right now, because I need that NG, because this Tappy Coco is going to need all the NGs. So we're going to bring this one, this one, this one, flip into the attacking position. And kind of don't want to take any risks. So we're just going to go with the Sky High Claws. Oh, no, hang on, not Sky High Claws. Tappy Thunder GX. We'll take that prize card. Kind of want to leave the NG in hand just in case I need it somewhere, somehow. Now, I do think I've still got my Thunder Mountain somewhere. Don't know if it's in deck, so that could be another option to get myself an attack off as well. So he does have the KO of the Tappy Coco. But leaving the Empoleon on the active allows me to get the KO back. Thanks to weakness. And by the looks of it, that's what he's going to take here. He's going to take the two prize cards. And that, my friend, is now game. So, we'll give my opponent a well played here. Because we do have everything that we need. To get the final KO. Get that final prize card. So, I was close in the end. 
Interesting. Now that deck seems to be around quite a bit right now. So, well played. Good game. Good game. Hello, Orochi Bob, and welcome. Ah, unfortunate. He's probably going to look at this hand and think I'm probably a Zapdos Jirachi build. Which I'm okay with that. Because little does he know, he's got Plusle and Minus coming his way. <laughs> Alright, let's go and find me some Plusles. Okay. That's not great for me. Please top deck something good. Jirachi in the active. Psychic recharge. I mean, if all goes really, really, really well, I could potentially get an attack off this turn. And KO the Jirachi. I think all was going to have to go really, really well. Trip in K down. That's good. Wouldn't want a Lily, I reckon. Lily? Yeah, probably Lily. I mean, there's a lot that I'd be pretty happy with. So what have we got? Ultra Necrozma. What have we got coming? I think we're about to find out. Getting rid of your base energy. So it's probably uh, Giratina. It's probably Ultra Necrozma in there as well somewhere. I think we're probably going to go with a Mar Shadow play on this one. Get rid of the Electro Charger and an NG. I'm thinking we're going to go with Mar Shadow. Rather than anything else. That's what we're going to do. Play the Marsh Shadow. And got a Cynthia, so that's okay. I'm fine with that. We'll burn the Choice Bands. Uh, have yourself a Choice Band. Instruct. Got myself a Lightning NG that I don't really have much use for just at the moment because I want a Plus and a Minus and a Lightning NG here. There's the Plus. No Minus, got the Lightning NG. It's unfortunate for me. I mean, I could be absolutely ridiculous and hit for 60 to the active. Oh, no, I can't because I don't have the two DCEs. So... In fact, that's 70 to the active, isn't it? This is how we'll play. We'll go boop, boop. We'll retreat out to the plus. Hole. Do we want to tap a Coco down? Probably not. And we'll do tag team boost. Get rid of the Jirachi. Not the way I was intending to get rid of the Jirachi, but it'll do. At least an NK now has to come up front. And hopefully that Mars Shadow worked in my favour. So he does have a Malamar. Does have the Viridian Forest. Which I could probably get some value out of as well. He's got a way into probably an attacker. We might go Malamar. If he has draw I'd say probably Malamar.
So now I need to go and get my Minus. Yep, so there's a Malamar. Now I'm assuming he has some draw. Although that was a Nest Ball. So this is his attacker, so he might be completely bricked. This might have worked quite nicely for me. So we had to get a couple of energies onto that Giratina. Hopefully I can get into what I need to to get a KO here. So I'm thinking we're probably rooting for us the Tapu Koko away. Shark and energy on the Tapu Koko in the back line just for the out. Got a Lily Pool as well, so that's how we're going to play it. We're going to get rid of the Tapu Koko. We'll go and get an NG. And chuck it onto this fella. We'll get a pull with the Orangaroo while we can. Just a rescue stretcher. What's here? I mean, if he's got a non-GX version of this, I could potentially need... The rescue stretcher for later. But I want to get a maximum pull here. So we'll shuffle the Tapu Koko back in. And we'll now Lily for five. Got an Electro Charger. We do get the Nest Ball, which is what we need. Because we need a Minin on the bench. And we shall Electro Charger. See what heads I get. Double Tails. That's unfortunate for me. But we'll get the KO here. And let's see if my opponent can get an NG or something to get himself unbricked. He got the NG. So that's clutch for him. So he does get a KO here. Oh, he would have had the NG anyway at the Viridian Forest. So we go Tapu Koko down. We do have a... Oh, it's interesting putting on there. It makes it easier to get to. So we do have a Plusle that we can get to. So Nest Ball, go get that Plusle out. There is the... Plusle ready to roll. We don't really want to use Erica's. Or do we? No, I want a new hand. Three with the Erica's isn't much value. And I need to find my way into Electro Powers. I've only got two left in deck. Which is of concern to me. Didn't find my way into anything. It's going to be hugely valuable. Because what am I hitting for... 60. I need one electro power somewhere. How aggressive do I go after it? I say pretty aggressively because what we can do here is we can ultra ball away. The Erika's and the Lightning NG. What we're going to do is we're going to go and get ourselves the Tapu Koko Prism Star. I don't have my other Tapu Koko, which is unfortunate. We will retreat out to the Plusle first. We'll Tapu Koko Prism down. We will run our Dance of the Ancients. And bring you, bring you. One to you, one to you. So Tapu Koko might be the attacker on the next turn, which is less than ideal. I mean, this is just one. This is a chance. If I get it, I get it. I don't get it. It's unfortunate. But we can get myself into a plus on the next turn still. So that's good. So we'll just use our tag team boost. Doesn't quite get within Tapu Koko range. Unless I get... Some kind of electro power.
My name won Electro Power from getting a flying flip KO. It's going to rescue the Jirachi to try and get himself bailed out. Unfortunately, it does even up the uh, the prize count on this turn. It's going to be interesting to see where he chucks the damage, though. So we'll go Tapu Koko down. Yep, it's going on the Malmar. Oh, we don't want another minimum. How many lightning energies have I lost so far? Two. I've got to be careful because I can't remember what my lightning energy count is in this deck. So, we'll Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of you two. We'll go and get myself a Plusle here. That's my last Plusle. Alright, I am running out of resources here. So there's an Electro Power. And a Guzma, which I think the Guzma is good. If only I had another Tapu Koko down and Guzma switch. I mean, let's find something out. Oh, we got plenty of NGs. Oh, we got NGs for days. Alright, something we Guzma switch. We don't get a KO if I do it. Because I'm hitting for 50. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do. Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That'll play. So we Guzma in. We'll just use the old Retreateroo. Back to the Tapu Koko here. We shall Electro Power. And we shall Flying Flip. There's the Tapu Koko GX, although I'm about to lose all my energies on the field, so I highly doubt I'm going to be able to use you effectively now. Unless he gets stuck in the active, and then that'd be huge to be able to tap a Coco GX right now. Get him on the field. To start smashing from this point. So let's hope he gets stuck in the active. So the old lily pool. So what I'm hoping here is the Jirachi gets stuck in the active and then I'm probably bringing Tapu Koko down. Although, do I need to bring Tapu Koko down this turn if that happens? Probably not. Probably not. And a flying flip gets rid of that Giratina quite nicely. And I just set up another NG down. So we'll see what happens. Be really nice to get into another Electro Power. I've only got one left, so I need an Electro Charger to actually flip me some heads, just to give me some extra resources. I didn't see really what he grabbed. Probably should have paid attention. I was thinking too much about my own game. But please stay in the active. You'll need some kind of skateboard to get out because you've used your Lily. And then we've got the choice. Do we hit him with Plusle? Take out Jirachi? Or do we... I think it really depends whether or not I get that Electro Power. Because if I get the Electro Power, it would be huge to get a KO on a Jirachi and a Giratina in the same turn. It'd be absolutely massive. Uh, he does have the switch. Alright, so that sucks. 
That certainly sucks for me. So he's got the KO here. And I don't have the Tapu Koko play right away. So what I'm now hoping is we hit him with the Plusle. And we hope the Plusle can live for a turn. Because then I put the Tapu Koko down. That's what we're aiming for now. Yeah, so we hit him for Plusle. Hope that he can last a turn. And if he can, then hopefully I should be good to get the Tapu Koko on board. It does mean I lose my free retreater now. So that's a thing. Oh, I've got a nice shrine that we can oust that stadium with, but do I want that stadium? I potentially actually need that stadium on the following turn. And he's going to have energy cards for days, so... I think I've got to just take a risk and leave that stadium in. There's an Electro Charger. It's going to say, are you going to give me Quad Tails? There we go. Alright, so we'll just use the old Tag Team Boost. Leave that Stadium in play. Go and get me a car, which is a Cynthia. Good, draw support. Can live with that. And now I'm really hoping that he's going to struggle to get the attack off. So he's going to have dupe Malamar. And that stadium does help him a little bit here, which is nerve-wracking. Alright, the Ultra Necrozma is much easier for him to get off, actually. So the Ultra Necrozma down right here could spell really bad times for me. Especially if he has some kind of switching. Whether it be Guzma action. Just hoping right now that he fails on the switch. Because he has the KO easily. Absolutely easily. And our Senate Stadium wouldn't have actually mattered. So Giratina's is coming back. Although you could be looking at a GX attack. Got to think about that. He could go and look for a GX attack. Which does put six damage counters, so that chips both of you into his range. Which isn't a KO yet. But I've just got to keep that in mind. So it does need... Blood. Isn't a KO, it's KO on you two, but it doesn't give him all the prize cards yet. And if he does that, it still allows me to get the Tapu Koko. Now he's going to go after the Orangaroo. Interesting. So he's got two KOs. Oops, what am I doing? I don't think I can get the KO back on him. Because he's only got two energies on this side of the field. I'd have to get into... I'd have to get into Electro Powers. That's just something that has to happen. So, what we'll do is we'll tap a Coco down. We'll grab the two Lightning Engies. We need... a Choice Band. And two Electro Powers. 160... Oh no, just a Choice Band and Electro Power. Or, yeah, we need, we just need cards. So we will oust you because we need to start thinning. We'll get the other NG. Do we have what I need? Two Electro Powers are in here. No choice bands. All right, so I need two Electro Powers. It's all going to be up to Cynthia. 
Can Cynthia get me two Electro Powers? So Orangaroo, Instruct, can you get me some of them? No, you can't. So, Cynthia, find me Electro Powers. Not Electro Charges. Ouch. Not gonna quite get there. Not gonna quite get there. That makes me sad. And... We'll just keep thinning for the moment. We'll go and get a Tapicoco back down. It's no point popping the GX. We can hit for 160. And that's about it. So yeah, well played by my opponent. Well played. Got what he needed. And sadly, I fall just short. One electro power away, sadly. One electro power away. Not bad, but... And it is time to rate this deck. So, what do I think? Well, starting with damage here, the damage here, you can, you know, get off turn 1 KOs pretty well, and you can boost this damage to quite high numbers when required. However, it's a little bit inconsistent because we need to get the Electro Powers when we need them, and we might need the heads on the uh, Electro Charger coin flips and things like that. So, it's, it's 60 base damage. Good for turn 1 KOs, hard to necessarily maintain momentum right through the match and get the damage power that we actually need. So, yeah, the damage here, we're just giving it a 7 out of 10. The defense side of things, well, these puzzles aren't taking anything. They're just going to go down at will, so we're really about one prize card trade. Um, obviously, the Tappy Coco is just a sweeper to finish. We're not really wanting him in the early game at all. Not often, anyway. So, the defense here, we're giving it a one prize card trade, 7 out of 10, but we're certainly not tanking anything whatsoever. When it comes to reliability, discuss this a little bit. The reliability of getting turn 1 KOs is quite high. Getting this bustle out with a 1 energy attack, you can get that out quite consistently and you can generally get yourself an electro power or two if you need it just to get it a little bit higher. So turn 1 KOs isn't a big deal. It's maintaining that momentum right through the match. Maintaining the damage output that you need to be able to continue t getting the KOs right through because you need some a bit of luck with the electro charges and the draws to get back into your electro powers to continue powering up your attack. So it can be a little bit cumbersome in that. So reliability for me, it's a 7 out of 10. Overall, what do I think? This deck was a lot of fun to play. It's a really great budget option. I mean, there's not too many cards here that, you know, aren't staples within decks like Cynthia's and Guzma's and things like that. And a really low budget option that gets quite a lot of wins and super fun to play. And people just fold when they start losing to it. I just don't think they like losing to Minimum and Plusle. So yeah, 7 out of 10 for me.